not quite ready and they fall down and they try to walk. See, the devil puts stumbling blocks in your path to try to make you fall. Mm -hmm. But guess what? The stronger your legs get, the better you can walk. Amen. So you're not falling because you willingly fell. You're falling because the devil tried, like, he'll persecute you. If you're doing right, the devil will start and, and create a lie about you. Mm -hmm. Or the devil will send somebody to stab you in the back Amen. or something like that. Yeah. Just when you thought you was walking and living for God, your best friend turned their back on you. Amen. Stuff like that. You get sick. The doctor tells you you got cancer and now your whole life is shook up. But Jesus is greater than cancer. Yes. And there are some people in here that can testify of how God yes. has healed them. They can say chemo all they want. Chemo can't heal you. Only Jesus Christ can heal you. And if he don't heal you and you're right with him, he'll call you home and ain't no cancer getting through the door. Amen? Amen. Ain't no sickness and disease. Ain't no kidney disease that can keep you out of the kingdom of God. Amen? No matter what the devil throws at you, you have the power of the Holy Ghost. You have the power of the promises of God in the word. And if you study to show yourself approved, all the promises in God's word can be yours. Yours. And you ain't got to pay a dime. Salvation is free. And it don't cost you your rent money. Amen. So next time somebody tells you, bring your ties into the storehouse, tell them I ain't never seen a church that was in this day and time that has meat in their storehouses for you to offer God as a sacrifice. It had nothing to do with money. It was the animal sacrifices of the Old Testament. And what they did is they brought people in to say, okay, we're going to turn all the animal sacrifices into your money, into your gross income. And that's being taught by 99.9% .9 of the churches, and it's still 100% wrong. <laughs> I preached a sermon series called Godly Giving, two-part sermon series. If you go to Sherry Nuka, YouTube, you'll click under sermons preached by Thomas and I went through all the scriptures and showed you how they manipulated the scriptures. See, we as black folks need to stop being hoodwinked, bamboozled, and led astray. We need to repent, we need to get in the word, and we need to tell the truth because if enough people, see it takes people, if enough people stand up for the truth, they'll have to come up with another gimmick. You know? But we have victory. And I thank you guys for coming here. I thank God for his goodness. And I just pray that I plant the seed in somebody's heart that will take root. The Bible says if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That means them sins you ain't never told nobody about. That stuff you did that you keep into yourself and you think you're going to take them secrets to your grave. Guess what? You don't want to take them secrets to the grave. You want them washed in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Because when the death, and guess what? It's going to be books open. And then there's another book called the Book of Life. When the devil comes looking for your sins in the Book of Life, you want to see blood stains on everything you did. Amen. Because if you see the blood, then you know that God's going to show you mercy. Yes. But guess what? The Bible says you can trample over that blood. And if you do, you'll receive a worse punishment than you did if you never knew the truth. We know the truth, and the truth will make us free. Amen. No matter what the sin was you did or are doing, if you're willing to say, Lord, I confess and Lord, I'm willing to turn away. God will clean you up. And no matter how dirty your past is, God can wash it white as snow. That's why I sing songs like, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And the new songs that people don't understand, listen to the lyrics. Here's my heart of worship. God's looking for your heart. Yes. My heart sings. God's not doesn't care what your mouth says because it's a whole lot of entertainers that can sing real good. Beyonce can sing real good, but she's serving the devil. You understand what I'm saying? She is lost in the song. Lost, and she don't <laughs> repent. Jay-Z's lost. Yep. Nicki Minaj playing with a snake and it bit the people on stage. She's planning to do a performance with a boa constructor. You understand? The snakes represent the prince of darkness. And if you can play with snakes, I don't want to listen to your songs because your songs are going to do something to my spirit.
So we need as Christians, please kids, get that wicked music off your CD players. If you say you're a Christian, Lil Wayne ain't a Christian. You understand what I'm saying? Trey Songs ain't no Christian. Patty LaBelle ain't no Christian. And she shouldn't be performing at no, well, Mega Mess is not a Christian event. It's an event where they bring everything in, good and bad. Well, God says you can't mix clean with unclean. It's either make the cup clean, Jesus said, or make the cup dirty. I want to be clean. And I know you want to be clean. But repentance is up to you. Nobody can preach you into heaven. You have to repent. And all you have to do is pray a simple prayer. Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. And God will forgive you if you mean it from your heart. Mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the word of God. Thank you, I thank you, Lord, that a man's home is his ministry, mm -hmm. and that if a man is walking in step with God, that he can lead his home, and his children, and his yes, wife yes, yes. can follow suit. Amen. And all of us, if we humble ourselves, we thank you, Lord, that your Bible promises that if we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, he will exalt us in due time. So that means it's not in our timing. But we know that those promises are yea and amen. And God, we ask your spirit to be with us. Give us traveling mercies. Help us to continue to not let this word go upon deaf ears. Help us, Lord, to listen to this sermon. When we post it, I pray that people will listen to it and let your spirit minister to them on where they are because we know that if you're a believer, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Yeah, and we look yeah. forward to you appearing in the clouds in the rapture yeah. to take your precious church away. And we will all celebrate at the marriage supper of the Lamb if our hearts are right with God. Yeah. And I just pray, Lord, that none, nobody here under the sound of my voice will listen to the preaching of this word and still end up lost because they wanted the pleasures of, the, of this world more than they wanted Jesus. the joy of knowing you. Knowing you is worth everything I have yeah. because I have nothing without you and I am nothing without you. Yeah. But with you, I can do all things through yeah. Christ Jesus yeah. which strengthens yeah. me. And I give you glory, I give you honor, and I give you praise in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You are dismissed. Go in his grace and praise the Lord.